There are just 13 days until Christmas, and many are still scrambling to buy the perfect present. But if you're looking online, cross your fingers. It gets shipped on time. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Krista Bame. Online shopping and shipping present presents is convenient, but it could cause a delay in getting presents to your loved ones. UPS and FedEx are already struggling to keep up with the delivery demand. Yovana Simic takes us to a local post office where it's not the amount of deliveries that's causing a problem. The holidays can be a stressful time. Buying presents is hard enough, and shipping can be even harder with the long lines at the post office. Everyone's trying to mail out their packages, uh, gifts and such, and letters. And uh, we're just, you know, usually we're staffed uh, for just a regular period of time, and we try to get in extra staffing for the holidays. Both UPS and FedEx have had problems delivering packages on time in the past. But that doesn't mean that all postal services have had the same issue. I haven't personally had long lines at the post office, but I would be surprised if I did because of the holiday season. Normally I come here all the time because I have a post office box and typically I'm able to get through in a reasonable amount of time. The problem the post office in Moorhead is having is not in delivery, but in employment. They don't have enough people to keep up with the holiday rush. This year we are a little understaffed, so we are working a little overtime, and, and so our lines are a little bit longer. With the holiday rush, it helps if customers are prepared when they come to the post office. That way, the delivery of your presents can go smoother. Just make sure the labels are on there. Make sure that it's printed really neat, and uh, everything is filled out well, taped, and ready to go. So you can make sure those presents get under the tree on time. Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. One way to try to ensure that your packages arrive on time for Christmas is to place your orders as early as possible. That means this weekend. Consider two-day or overnight shipping to make sure your package makes it on time. And some retailers even offer the option of ordering online and picking up in the store. A Grand Forks man faces multiple charges after leading police on a chase early this morning. 57-year-old Billy Ray Hackler refused to stop when police attempted to pull him over for a traffic violation. They were originally called to a suspicious vehicle in the parking lot of a nearby business. Hackler then led police on a chase reaching speeds of 60 miles per hour near downtown Grand Forks. Officers then performed a pit maneuver to stop Hackler, who tried ramming the police cars to escape. He faces charges of fleeing, driving under suspension, under the influence, ingesting a controlled substance, among other charges. Police were unable to find a bloodied man allegedly carrying a knife and knocking on apartment doors in Fargo. Fargo police say they received multiple calls last night at the apartment building on 15th Street South. A man attempting to enter the building and knocking on doors. And a witness says the bloodied man was carrying a five to six inch knife. He pulled the fire alarm as he was leaving and left in a white Cadillac. Police did not find anyone in the area or in local hospitals matching the description of a six-foot-tall Caucasian man. No injuries were reported. A decade of work, countless hours of digging, and thousands of dollars, all for the largest mountain or mounted dinosaur skeletons found right here in North Dakota. But for the first time in 65 million years, he'll have to leave the state. Bob is living at the Barnes County Historical Museum in Valley City. He's been there for about a year and a half, but the museum can't afford to keep him. There's a hefty price tag on Bob, $1.4 million. On December 20th, crews will start to dismantle him. Then Bob will be off to Arizona, up for sale to someone who can afford him. And our abnormally warm weather has many anglers waiting for temps to drop to get out on the ice. But these anglers aren't waiting for any ice out there on Little Pine Lake and Perm. Not a normal sight this time of year, but with fishing rods in hand, a heavy coat and gloves, Carrie and friends were enjoying the water. A reminder, it's December 12th. Carrie says their day out fishing brought one northern. 